All right, I guess. Sir, uh, sir we have contacts in come in on scans. Small craft approaching location. Good shooting, Manta. How many access do we have left? Eternity's log. The Eternity has less than a day's worth of oxygen left, and now minimal ammunition and fuel. Thank God we made it to the moon. Here's to hoping no major issues crop up. After taking contact with the CDF squadron and repulsing the attack, we are now officially at war with the CDF. While this certainly makes things more difficult, it honestly clears things up a fair bit. We now know what we must do. Oh, morning, Ace. How you doing? Doing alright, sir. Sounds like you just woke up or you've been up all night. I'm not answering that, sir. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh. Man, Dolphin really got after it. And I assume you too. Hi. Oh, sir, while well, you're here. Yeah. Uh, we made com uh, we made comms with Captain Roberts. He's on his way. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. We were looking to meet up with him. But we got distracted when the CDF decided to throw us a welcome party. Uh, cool. When, uh, when does he get here? Uh, any time now. Roger. PTA was uh, two minutes ago. Roger that. Oh, before we get started, go, uh, you know where the trainee is? Is he sleeping? Uh. Oh. Good. <clears throat> whoa, whoa, what? What's up? I mean, sorry, what's up? Uh, what's up, sir? Nice, good save. 
Um, can you begin... There's a Dolphin got magnesium, right? Right. Assuming we have all the other materials, I want you to begin turning that into 400 millimeter. To begin busting up to the eternity. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's all. Okay. Uh, eventually he'll learn. Yeah, one day. I said we didn't need them, but whatever. I don't make bases anyway. I have slaves for that. Oh, sorry. Uh, under... Whatever. <laughs> Shit, I haven't seen one of those in a while. It's a fucking osprey. Sir. Are you ever gonna learn, Sir. No, probably not. That's why I got you here. As I've known. Captain Roberts, good to see you. Gentlemen. Good to good see to you're see still kicking. Ah, uh, yeah. I had a bit of trouble on the way in. Uh, someone kicked the hornet's nest. In fairness, the hornet's nest kicked uh, kicked us, but we like to kick back here at, uh, at the Eternity. <laughs> yeah, you had them fleeing. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you picked up on some of that comms traffic. Hell, I bar I almost ran into it. Cool. Quite cool. a few squadrons running around now. Yeah, I'm worried things are getting a bit hot. Uh, you want to come on inside so we don't have to constantly be... Yeah, yeah, here. yeah. Have my boys uh, whip up a base in the middle of a resupply cycle for the eternity. Definitely looking nice. I'd offer you a cola, but those are uh, those are all in the Eternity and apparently are worth more than the Eternity herself, so... Um... <laughs> I was about to say, that's only for Admiralty back home. Yeah. I'm guessing you don't have too many of those left. Shit isn't made here anymore. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's, uh, let's get down to it. You had to leave in a hurry earlier, but I really wouldn't mind uh, an update on the situation, what's going on and stuff, especially with the precarious situation the Eternity's in. Things are less than optimal. I obviously don't know everything that's going down out here, considering quite far away from home. Not many other assets besides me, First Fleet has out here, but the CDF is growing a lot faster than we predicted they would. They're beginning to pump out cruisers, and it's not looking too good. Damn. They're really kicking up their war machine, huh? Now that they're going after the riders. Definitely. And sure. because they're having cruisers, eventually they're going to start building battleships. Battleships and cruisers would obviously challenge the First Fleet's presence, and we don't want that. Oh, that sounds awfully familiar. Yeah, yeah. You look, you thought, uh, you thought fighting destroyers was fun, Ace. You ready to fight battleships? This is sort of a big deal, you know. The last time the system collapsed, according to our records, was when a civilian faction gained too much traction. They, uh, they were in a bit of a similar situation, I guess, growth-wise to the CDF, and the conflict nearly destroyed the system. Obviously, with the CDF this large, a conflict between, or system-wide conflict, could be really bad for the system. Uh, how about the Eternity? Uh, can you guys offer us any help by chance? I'm gonna be a little honest with you, Captain, here. Um, as you can tell, the First Fleet doesn't have any assets out here besides me. That can kind of reflect how much the command staff actually thinks about this situation out here. The Admiralty doesn't really think about this too much. If anything, half of them, I guess, don't even believe in the Eternity. And the other thing is, even if the Command Staff were on board, likelihood is, if the First Fleet joined up with the Eternity, it'd tick off a lot of people, turn a lot of heads, cause a lot of problems. Time really isn't now for an Alliance. Gotcha. Understood. I guess we're really not ready to defend a jump gate yet, either. You know, I'm all on board with the idea of reuniting with Earth. I think it has tangible hope with, for the system. A real power and a real government can sort out a lot of things here back home. But until the man pulls 
uh, head out of its ass and starts getting things straightened out. Can't really do that yet. Well, gotcha. I appreciate the brief on the situation. We'll continue of doing course, what we can here. One moment, gentlemen. I need to do something really quick. Like, call an airstrike on this location. Oh, no kidding. That'd be our luck. <sighs> Damn. I was kind of... I kind of knew it wouldn't go that way, but I was really hoping the First Fleet would be on board with getting that jump gate up today. But... Yeah. Hey, Roberts. You didn't take I, off, uh, I see. Yeah, no, we don't have uh, our business concluded here. I uh, invited some friends. You might uh, find them familiar. Huh. Let's just say they uh, have a certain interest for the CDF that uh, we oh. all share. Yeah, heads up, coming in right there. Sir, those are writer's tags. No shit. Is that... My eyes might be failing me. Ace, is that thing on fire? Certainly looks like it's on fire. There's definitely a trail, sir. They're having a hell of a time touch it down. Oh, they, oh! Oh! I guess we oh should boy. probably go out to them. They fly about as well as I do, huh, Ace? Uh, I might give them a little more credit, sir. Oof, oof. Harsh words, harsh words. Am I wrong, sir? No, you're not, but, you know, I expect some, you know, fake encouragement from my XO sometimes. Well, you know, I'll, I'll give you this, sir. You are a captain. You don't necessarily need to fly. I, I probably shouldn't be flying, huh? Aye. All right. Neither should I. All right, let's get it done. Ah, uh, gentlemen, good to see you're still in one piece. Good afternoon, Roberts. Likewise. Good landing, gentlemen. I'm, uh... We've had better. We all have. I'm Captain Brock of the EFN Eternity. This is my EXO, Captain Ace. Afternoon. Uh, who might you fellas Commander be? Warden. I'm Commander Warden. This is my lieutenant and my ensign. Yeah? We're, uh... Recently came back from a mission with uh, our mutual friend Roberts here. What Didn't go say, so uh, well, and unfortunately, we uh, don't have as many resources left in the area. Just a single destroyer and some light assets. What, what do you say uh, we head back to the hut? Uh, the hut. Uh, as much I as agree. I love breathing in moon dusk repeatedly, uh, I actually don't. How bad are your filters that you're breathing in the moon dust? Bigger speech. Fair enough. I guess it's uh, the I mean, older models, huh? They just look cool. We're oh, issued yeah. body armor. There's no reason in uh, going the private sector if you're not going to make it worth your while. So, Roberts, uh, I can guess where this might be going, but uh, why'd you bring some First Fleet boys down over here? Uh... Well, after the whole Elysium situation, Command has been spending some time trying to get reinforcements over here covertly. It's taking quite a bit with the CDF so active. Gotcha. Oh, hey, Captain. Oh, my God. Yeah, we found some, uh, we found some people. Try to look presentable. We're pressurized in here still. Yep, yeah, cool. Gentlemen. Captain. So what were, what were you saying, Roberts? We didn't quite finish that train of thought. About the lack of reinforcements or the riders? The riders. Why? Well, I mean, I can guess why you brought them here, but, uh... Alright, I guess, sir, uh... Sir, we have contacts in come in on scans. Small craft approaching location. Oh, scramble, scramble, fuck. scramble! Ace, take Damn the, uh... Up. Ace, Working find Timber or take the Manta! Check your helmet! Holy shit! I'll take the other door. Link, you're with me! We're taking the, uh, the Pelican! Roger!
Captain, that's CDF. Roger that! Link, I'll be your co-pilot! Roger that, Captain. Benson, get in the air and take him down. Already on it, sir. Link, remember, this thing isn't as maneuverable. Don't slam us into the side of a mountain. Use us more like... Use us more like a tank that can fly instead of a, uh... Instead of a fighter, got it? Roger. XO, let me know when you're airborne in the Manta. I'm airborne, sir. Roger that. Pursue targets. Watch the fire of the defensive emplacements. Aye, sir. Good Manta. How many actives do we have left? That thing is zippy as fuck, isn't it? I'm seeing two in, Can't hit it. Two in the air. Roger that. Or in the void, or whatever we're gonna call this. Yeah, no, I, I know what you're saying. Captain Roberts, you still up? What's your status? Shit, that is four on turkey. Roger that. Watch your fire, Link. Captain Brock, that's the second CDF vessel down. Acknowledged. Slash two. Roberts, can you contact the riders? What's their status? Are they still up? They're not lost. Yeah, I think they're still up. They appear to be still up. Okay, you ain't getting rid of us that easily. Oh, you contact us until the end. Link, punch up uh, about 2,000 meters. Let's get an eye on what's happening. Right. XO, that camel might be a little too effective. I lose you on the backdrop constantly. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Getting on that rear gun. Oh, that's just seizure inducing. Link, keep that for ground attack. I don't think you're hitting shit. Do what you can. Let's get that drop ship Lost down here. All right, thrusts are trying my best. And this is why I wanted all landing to... gears are destroyed, sir. It's uh, okay, and Ensign, you did a good job, all things considered. It's no Gannet, but you did admirably. Uh, Captain Brock. Yeah. I think this shows evidence of why we should be working together. And I'm glad to see you here with us. No shit, that was... My... My god, how are you still pilot... Uh, to be fair, Brock, uh, the captain's flown uh, less. Now do you see why we send our boys into the field with the body armor? It's a rider pilot for you. They're built different. There's so many shots. Got so uh, close. Uh, I think you're bleeding from... Yeah, I, I feel like I am. Uh, I'm gonna... Oh man, the poor Pancake Pyre is not gonna be happy. Well, I the would... Pancake got I... destroyed? Yeah, they... No, it didn't. Damn it. Oh, it got damaged. Nah, also, uh, if you don't mind me asking, how the hell is your ship intact? Uh, uh, don't worry about it, it's just very heavily armored. Okay, oh, going to need to share that the technology with us. Jesus. XO, you're clear to land. Uh, uh, sir, just, moving in. Just put armor on top of the armor until it until you don't take shots anymore. Captain Roberts, where did your where'd your offspray go? You mean Pelican? Sure, whatever. 
Yeah. Had to hide it. Don't want the CDF knowing I'm here. Oh, of course. Subterfuge. Good flying, Ace! Thank you, sir. I think we almost rammed each other once, but um, I, we didn't, so we're good. How long do you think it's going to take to get the Eternity fully stocked and running? Oh, boy. It's, it's going to be a while, sir. Roger that. You think we can do it in six days? Oh, I'll have to whip the boys in shape, but uh, we could get it in six. Roger that. Fuck. We don't think we have six days with these assaults. I'm thinking we might need to whip up a plan with the Eternity with our current supplies to buy us some breathing room. We can't sustain another assault like that. You mean go on the Captain. offensive, sir? Yes, going on the offensive. Captain, if I may, the CDF are hardening their position here on the moon. Going on the offensive now is of your best bet. We have intel that shows they have a fob in the area. Striking that should give us some breathing room for your sake and ours. I think that's something I could agree with. Uh, let the Eternity know we're going to be heading up to her shortly. Hi, sir. I'll go alert to the Sun Dancer, shall I? Yes, hey. do that. Hold, hold up, hold up. I think we're making a little bit of assumptions here. The Eternity is going on the offensive here. I, As much as I appreciate you boys helping us out here today, that was some self-preservation. I don't know if we're in an alliance here yet. Captain, if I may, I believe our groups can benefit from a at least temporary alliance. Let us work together to eliminate the CDF for now. Not saying that you have to agree with all of our methods, but at the very least, let's work together. <sighs> I think we could probably use all the help we can get. Yeah, and uh, we, we might be able to get some of those uh, body armor, too. If you guys do string along, um, the EFN Eternity will be in control of all combat operations. You will be under our jurisdiction for the operation. Is that clear? I, I find that agreeable. That can work with us for now. Uh, it's not as we have we a rear admiral aboard our Sun Dancer. He'll uh, get with you personally. Roger that. Uh, we'll be passing on our coordinates to you shortly. We'll have a. Uh, we'll discuss the specifics on the Eternity herself. We need to get moving. I think we only have. Maybe half a day before the CDF can consolidate and restrike. We need to make our move within that time period. So let's get hustling. Affirmative. Ensign, can Roberts, you fly this piece you, of shit? Roberts, will uh, you yes, be sir, joining us? Sir. As much as I'd like to come in with the assist, I'm afraid I cannot. Roger that. Trying to keep a low profile? Yeah. I'll be keeping in touch, though. Roger that. Don't be a stranger. We'll see you around. We'll keep you up to date on what the hell's going on with the CDF. Right. Try not to let the CDF kill you, eh? Yeah, I'll try my best. Uh, yeah. Things are happening pretty fast, huh, Ace? Hi, sir. One minute, I was trying to work out how to use a vacuum toilet on the planet, on the moon. The next minute, we're in a quasi-alliance with the Riders, attacking a fortified position. You, you never learned how to use those pilots beforehand? I mean, how are you in space right now, Captain? This is classified information. We never talk about this again. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, shit. Coming up, port side. In, incoming. It, is this also Is this our required? reinforcements? What in the fuck is that? Broken, sir. It's broken. What? No, my soul is broken. This thing is fucked. Sundancer reporting for duty. Amazing. Sundancer, pull along, uh... Pull alongside, transfer your crew. We'll, uh, begin our briefing shortly. Jeez. Affirmative. Exo, you want to greet them? Get them to the, uh... Let's go to the meeting room. Aye, oh, sir. Ace. 
Ace, kick out of the presentation mode. Aye, sir. Son of a bitch. Alright, gentlemen. He looks like Tiber, doesn't he? He does. Yeah. Um, here's the plan of action. We have experience, quite awkwardly, with sieging fortified positions with the Eternity. Judging by the CDF present in the AO, this needs to be quick. The longer we stayed, the lo easier it is for them to drag us down in a prolonged conflict, and the Eternity is not ready for prolonged conflict due to our supply situation. This needs to be quick, decisive, and uh, it needs to be over. I'm going to take a page out of our uh, attack on the other location several weeks ago, thinking we're going to roll up to about 10,000. Begin heavy bombardment um, onto the enemy fob. This will force a reaction out of the CDF element. Once the CDF comes to close with us, we will disengage via a four jump through the fob onto the other side of the fob. Assuming our initial fire mission is correct, this puts us on the other side of the base that is undamaged. We will then commence a second fire mission from this location. We will only have about maybe a minute, two minutes at most in this position, so we're going to need to act fast. From here, once the CDF formation closes with us, we're going to have to hope the base is mostly neutralized. We will make a judgment call at this point uh, of either continuing to orbit the base to continue putting fire down upon her, or egressing and taking the CDF assets in the area away from the CDF fob. Meanwhile, the Sundancer, I believe you guys called it? With all due respect, gentlemen, she does not look to be ready for a combat role. Once the CDF has engaged us and the fob is rendered semi-neutralized, the Eternity will egress, pulling the CDF assets with us, and we will destroy as many of them as possible, or decisively damage them. At which point, I want the Sundancer and the Rider crew to pull alongside the fob, enter, place explosives, and egress the area before detonating them. Uh, this will ensure the fob is heavily, heavily damaged, if not completely neutralized. The Eternity will then continue doing as much damage to the present CDF forces before egressing the area and returning to our uh, moon base. Just don't play the heroes. Let's play this by the book. We got a good plan ahead of us with contingencies. Let's execute it. And... We should get it done. Sir, uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, Captain. Understood. Roger that. This should be spicy. I suggest you head to your ship. Send any questions uh, my way through the XO. We'll get it addressed before we roll hot on target. We'll go. Cool. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you're watching this a little bit later, I'll be sure to link the next episode above. If you want to be part of the community, help out, just have fun and talk, or maybe even join a faction, head on over to the Discord, link down in the description. This whole operation takes a lot of time, effort, and uh, cost. I do this in addition to having a job and school, so link down below is my Patreon. If you want to give me a little tip, it's right there. If not, no worries. Sharing, commenting, all that stuff does... A lot more than you think and really helps the channel grow and expand. Alright, that's enough uh, selling out. I'll see you guys around.